A man's bag is a very personal thing, and nothing is more personal than a man's camera bag. <laughs> Hello, my name is Roland K. Smith. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I am a social media manager and digital content creator. And today I wanna to have a bit of a different video. I'm in a different setting. The kids are asleep, so I'm trying to be quiet. <laughs> Um, and we're gonna do a what's in my camera bag video. Now, a big part of how I make my living is through videography. And I started making videos back when I was about 10 years old, making films with my buddies just for fun. And when I finally got a proper job as a social media manager back in 2012, <clears throat> um, I quickly realized that I would have to put those filmmaking skills to, uh, to good use and start creating content for social media. As I've often said on this channel, for me, social media, management and content creation, they sort of go hand in hand. Anyway, fast forward 10 years later and I've made thousands of videos for a wide range of clients. Now, in those 10 years of making videos, I've sort of carved myself out a bit of a niche of being a documentary style filmmaker, except for social media. So what that means is that I'm often on the road, uh, traveling to someone to tell their story or traveling with somebody as they tell a story themselves. So the camera gear that I have to have has to be very, very lightweight. It has to fit on my back. But then because I'm doing this documentary style filmmaking, I never know what's gonna happen. So it has to be really versatile. Sometimes I could be filming an interview, so I'd need a three point light setup. And, and then other times I could be doing a media conference. So I need a microphone stand. And then, and then the next minute I'll be out doing Vox Pops on the street. And all of that can happen for me in just one day. So after 10 years of being a videography road warrior, I have stripped my camera bag right down to the essentials while making sure that it's very, very versatile. So this, is the 2021 what's in my camera bag i feel like i'm about to show you all my deepest darkest secrets let's start with the bag itself this is the goruck gr1 21 liter slick version um, from huckberry um, huckberry and goruck did a collab and this is this this is what they came up with if you don't know about goruck it's an american company owned by a former special forces guy and it's just like built really really tough that's sort of their thing that their bags are like bomb proof. It's not actually a camera bag, but because it is so tough, I know that I can put my gear in there and, and throw it around and not really have to worry all that much about it. Because this is the slick version, it doesn't have like some extra little bits of like molly on there, which makes it look a little bit tactical. Um, so I like this look because I'm not really a tactical guy. And yeah, I just really like the look of the bag and the Goruck bags themselves are de designed to carry a lot of weight. So um, it carries all of my really heavy gear really, really well. Let's start in the back here because this is where I keep most of the time, my M1 MacBook Air, which is fantastic um, on the road because the battery life is so good. And um, I run Final Cut Pro on there. Uh, I did a whole video on this, so I will leave the link to that somewhere over there. Over here, we've, we've got like this little front slash pocket. And this is something that is actually often complained about on these Go Ruck bags, because when the bag's packed out like it is now, this this is like pretty hard to get into so i don't keep a lot of stuff in there let's have a look what i got in there uh, got a face mask oh i got this little doobie whacker so this is a uh cricket squid it's a little sort of just pocket knife and it's really handy to have in case i need to sort of cut rope or cut gaffer tape or or anything like that tissues business card I keep a business card in all of my bags just in case I lose my bag. So I figure that at least there is a way that somebody, if they found it, could, could just contact me and say, hey, found your bag. And that's all I have in there. Uh, I might keep a couple of muesli bars or my wallet or throw my keys in there. Okay, main compartment. This is, this is where it's all happening. Okay, I'm gonna start with the uh, camera because that's probably the most important thing. <laughs> This is the Wandered Small Camera Cube. I used to have the Peak Design Small Camera Cube, which was fine, but this is just a little bit slimmer profile, so it sort of sits in the bag more nicely. And um, when you're sort of packing a kit this tight, every little bit counts. I have the X-T4 and the 16 to 55 2.8 lens. Now this lens, uh, this handles sort of 90% of all of my work. Like it's just very, very versatile lens. Um, that focal length, it's the 24 to 70 equivalent. Well, it's actually, it's 24 to uh, 84 millimeters equivalent on a full frame, I think. But it's basically the answer to Canon and Sony's 24 to 70. So you can pretty much shoot anything. You can do portraits, you could do landscape, but for run and gun stuff, 
and for just being thrown into situations that you have no idea what's gonna what's gonna come at you this this works really really well the other thing I have in here the 23 1.4 so this lens is is the lens I use for most, mostly for my street photography um, just really like the focal length it's a 35 millimeter full frame equivalent and I've recently read some some people putting some shit on this lens, but uh, I think it is my favorite lens, perhaps of all time. Yeah, I'm gonna call it. Now in here, I just have a couple of other little, little pouches. This is a Tom Bin side effect. And in here I keep ah, a little, um, I think this is called the Pixie Mini, but that's just a little stand. So if I need to stick a camera or a little light, up, um, I can do that. Um, just a little mic clip, and then this bad boy. So this is the Fuji XT4 um, battery power grip, and I like this because it has room for two extra batteries in there. So between the one battery that's in the XT4 and then these two extra batteries, I, I basically never need to worry about uh, running out of battery on a shoot. The, it'll just go forever. So that's one of the reasons why I got this. And then the other is the XT4 doesn't have a proper um, headphone jack. It has a USB connector. So if you want to just use the XT4 without the power pack, what you're doing is you're plugging a USB to headphone um, jack adapter on there, which is just, it's just a fuss. It's not something I want to be dealing with. So. I use this, it gives the Fuji X-T4 just that little bit uh, of extra grip, which I think is good, because it is quite a small bodied camera and there's not a hell of a lot of grip on there. So any extra is welcome. I've got the Rode, uh, I think this is the VideoMic Pro Plus maybe, I don't know, but uh, with the dead cat on there, and that dead cat's on there just for wind because uh, I, I would probably mostly use this outdoors, I guess, for things like um, just your run and gun setup. But uh, I like this a lot because it turns on and off when the camera turns on and off. So you're never gonna have to worry about not turning your microphone on and getting no audio in your video clips. The audio quality is okay for what it is too. I have this fun little guy. So this is like a mini Sizzman Frodo. Uh, it's a small light stand, but I use it sometimes as a light stand, but then sometimes also as a microphone stand. If I'm doing a media conference and I need to pop a mic up in front of somebody, I can just put this little, um, put a little microphone clip on there and then stick a mic in there and you're away. And then if you need a light stand, um, it goes, it, it goes high enough to light somebody sitting in a chair on their face. So I use that quite often and it's small enough that I don't mind just throwing it in the kit. This I will explain a little bit more in a minute, but it's basically a mic. Uh, holder, mic grip. Uh, that's actually all there is to it. And then this is a um, this is a Go Ruck pouch from from the same people that made the brand the bag. Uh, you know, I like to keep things uh, consistent. I guess it's just a little pouch, and in here I keep my my lighting setup. So this is a three point light setup in here. So these, I've got three of these, and these little things are the um, Fotix M200s. And I swear by them, I light all of my videos with them, um, unless I have sort of a need for a bigger, softer light. Um, and for what they are, I think the light that they produce is really, really nice. Um, that's just sort of giving me a purple. They're RGB, they're actually um, USB-C as well. So they're LED RGB USB-C lights, <laughs> which is a mouthful. but. Um, really high quality light that they pump out and really powerful and they last a fairly decent amount of time as well. So I have three of these so I can light somebody with that three point setup um, and that all fits in one little pouch and then they also come with um, with a couple of small stands like this if you need to set them up on a, on a table um, or a bookshelf somewhere or you could use this light stand as I mentioned earlier and just sort of screw it in like that. Okay, and then the final thing in the main compartment is the Peak Design travel tripod, um, which, which I think just to get a tripod that can fit in a bag is so great. And it's, it's solid, it works really well, it's really quick to open up. Um, it's not the world's best video head, um, it sort of doesn't have a lot of very smooth movement and there's of course no handle there. So if you do try and move things, you know, you're on your own. 
but I like it a lot. It's not the carbon fiber one, so it does have a bit more weight, but I saved myself 500 bucks. Just back to the bag, I don't know if you can see in there because it is quite dark. It's just a big old cavernous space and I just dump all of the stuff in here. It's really well organized through pouches and it's only 21 liters um, and it works for me. I've got all that stuff in there. Moving along to these only two other pockets that are in here, I've got another GORUCK piece of kit. This is the, I think this is called the wireless dock and it's just a, just a little um, pouch for wires. So in here I keep, got my Rode wireless, um, go microphone setup so that's what sort of slides in here and then you you turn your lapels into a reporter mic so that's super handy if i'm doing press conferences or um box pops or anything like that um just just good to have uh, the, the lapel then i've got things like chargers uh, headphones are in here um, dongles it's all in there and it's all really slim and slips away in the side and then finally in this top pocket I have some some filters these are both variable ND filters if you're not messing around with, with ND filters then then you're missing out because what these allow you to do is to keep your shutter speed down so they're great for for video and they're also great for um, uh, long exposure long exposure photography so they are, they're a little bit spenny but um, you don't need to buy that many this one is for the uh, 16 to 55 and then this one which I use all the time and then this one is for the um, for the 20 for the 23 1.4 so this actually has never been used but I I like to have it just in case I need it and then just some camera cl cleaning equipment um, which I don't actually always use on cameras. I tend to sort of use these on other things, um, but always good to have a microfiber cloth and a little brush. So that's what's in my camera bag. Um, I'm pretty happy with that setup. Uh, for those wondering, all of that equipment would cost just under 10,000 Australian dollars, which I think is pretty decent value for what it can do. Um, of course, I didn't acquire all that gear at once. I sort of picked it up as the years went on and I upgraded bits and pieces and added to it as I went. Um, so I hope you got something out of it, but just remember that all of this gear, um, it, 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 it's not the most important thing. The most important thing is your knowledge of filmmaking and storytelling and photography, and of course, your creativity. So make sure you get out there and you use it. Okay, that's it for this video. So until the next one, keep doing what you're doing.